in a spirit of respect and recognizing the diversity of traditions among us, let us pause for a moment of prayer. Spirit of grace, spirit of wisdom, spirit of life, we welcome your presence with us today as we celebrate the dedication, hard work, and accomplishments of these graduates and of this institution. On this day of endings and beginnings, we are awed by all that still remains unknown. Encourage us always to dwell among those who savor beauty, practice truth, advance community, respond in compassion, are animated by wisdom not their own, and awed by mystery which defies comprehension. May this convocation ceremony give us renewed hope, courage, and energy. Amen. Madam Chancellor, honorary degree recipients, honored guests, colleagues, graduates, family, friends, good morning. Welcome to Mount St. Vincent University's Spring 2002 Convocation. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of over 600 graduates. It is with very great pride that all of us at Mount St. Vincent University extend our congratulations to you, our graduates, and I'm going to ask the assembly to join me in a very warm round of applause for you. One of the very great pleasures of convocation is to look out from this stage and to see our graduates flanked on one side by their faculty who have mentored them, encouraged them, helped them along the way, guided and directed, and they're fat flanked on the other side by family and friends who have likewise supported and encouraged in many, many ways. So graduates, I ask you to join me in a round of applause for your faculty and your family and friends who are here again to support you today. <clears throat> While I'm thanking people, let me take a moment and recognize all those people who work so hard to make this the special occasion that I know you will find it to be. They include the registrar's office, and I particularly want to recognize our registrar, Lynn Terrio. You would not be here today if Lynn had not given you the seal of approval that you met the graduation standards in order for Senate to approve um, you receiving your certificate, diploma, or degree this morning. I want to recognize the conference office, physical plant, our public affairs office, all the people in my office, and throughout the university who have worked so hard to make this celebration worthy of the occasion. Today, we celebrate graduates, not only your significant accomplishments, but those of four exceptional women 
who have distinguished themselves in their lives and careers. This morning, we will honor Linda Lundstrom and the Honorable Marion Reed. Each will be recognized later in the program, and I know that you will be moved by the commitment and dedication each of them has shown to their chosen career and the broader community. This afternoon, Dr. Judith Gold, a leading psychiatrist and a former chair of Mount St. Vincent's Board of Governors, and the Honorable Beverly, Right Honorable Beverly McLaughlin, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada, will be honored. So you can see that we have joining our Mount family today four exceptional women. As well, at this morning's ceremony, we want to recognize three members of our faculty who have distinguished themselves in teaching, in instructional leadership, and in research. Dr. Ken Dewar will be recognized for his excellence in the classroom and will receive the Alumni Award for Teaching. Dr. Patrick O'Neill will be presented with the Award for Research Excellence and Dr. Susan Drain will be recognized for her creative leadership and will be presented the Instructional Leadership Award. Each of them will be introduced more formally and fully later in the program. But what these three individuals exemplify is a commitment held by many more at the Mount. Each of us forms part of a community of scholars, and we recognize that generations of scholars building on excellence have founded this university and that current faculty members continue that building task through their own scholarly endeavors, whether in the classroom, in the research laboratory, in the seminar room, in conversations with colleagues, in direction of students, and in many other ways. I also want to express the Mount's appreciation to those who through their volunteer contributions have also shaped the university's life and work. In celebration of our 125th anniversary, four years ago, we inaugurated the Mount St. Vincent University Anniversary Awards. This year's award recipients are Suzanne Drapeau and John Graham, and I'm especially pleased that Suzanne could join us this morning also. Graduates, I hardly need to tell you what an important day this is in your lives. You've worked for it, you've looked forward to it, and here it is. But convocation is, of course, more than the culmination of years of study. It is a special ritual in the university's calendar. It's the culmination of your current studies, but it's also the start of a new chapter in your lives. And I am confident in saying the certificate or diploma or degree that you receive this morning will open new doors to life and career opportunities. During your time here at the Mount, you've learned that change and growth are what university life is all about. And as an institution, we too must continually adapt and expand and recognize the changes in the world around us. Witness the fact that we are expanding our campus, the programs we offer, and our reach throughout the globe. As many of you know, and for those of you who don't, let me tell you that we are building a new residence to open in 2003. And this is the first phase of a campus expansion and revitalization plan that will provide not only new residence space, but also new classroom and academic space, as well as enhanced space for co-curricular activities. We need to meet the ever-increasing demand for residence rooms on our campus to adapt to modern technologies and to provide classrooms that suit the pedagogies that our faculty elect to use. 
On the program front, we're very excited about some new offerings and some new partnerships. Today, the first graduates of the Bachelor of Applied Arts in Family Studies and Gerontology will be receiving their degrees. As well, our Senate most recently approved a new certificate program in professional writing and rhetoric and a program in public policy stu studies. Earlier this year, I was pleased to sign on behalf of the university an agreement to offer the Bachelor of Applied Arts Child and Youth Study in association with our friends at Bermuda College. And we have also signed an agreement for our Bachelor of Business Administration program in association with the University of St. Martin in the Northeastern Caribbean. We continue to expand our distance education offerings our cooperative education programs, making us ever more accessible to students in other parts of Canada, the Americas, and beyond. Today, Mount St. Vincent University is educating people throughout Nova Scotia, the Atlantic region, Canada, Bermuda, the Caribbean, and indeed around the world. In fact, today we celebrate the first graduate, Canel Omar Johnson, from the BBA program in association with Bermuda College, and we're very pleased that Canel is with us today. Graduates, as your horizons continue to expand, please remember that today you graduate with more than just a formal credential. You take with you a great deal more. You've attained many personal goals, as well as a close community of friends and colleagues. One of the very real benefits of having attended the Mount, where we place a premium on personalized education. And in, in an environment where you got to know not only each other, but your professors, and I hope some of the administrators and staff of the university. It's one of our traditions at Convocation to acknowledge the achievements of members of the Mount community who are graduating today, as well as family connections of our graduates. So with this in mind, I want to recognize Mary Kate Foley, our valedictorian, who is graduating with a BA and is the daughter of Lynn Foley in our education department. I want to recognize Justin Harrington, who is receiving his BBA and is the son of Fred Harrington in our psychology department. Wendy Johnson from our research office will be awarded her Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology. Edna Mabadoko will be receiving her BA today. Edna has worked in the registrar's office and been involved in many campus activities. Tara Dawn Crosby worked for Physical Plant, the conference office, and the students' union during her time at the Mount, and she will receive her BBA today. Brenda Durkee will also receive her BBA, and she too has worked in the Department of Financial Services and the Registrar's Office. Nadia Hines is graduating with her BPR and has worked in Public Affairs and the Students' Affairs Offices. And Debbie Buett and Laura Hepditch, both receiving their BPRs, also have worked in our public affairs office. I think those connections are what helps to make this uh, a community. Whatever your program of study graduates, wherever your home, today you join a worldwide family of 18,000 Mount alumni. And I always say that they are the best ambassadors that any university could ever have, and you will join their ranks today. As alumni, you will remain members of the Mount community, and we look forward to following your careers, learning of your successes, seeing you at reunions and alumni gatherings, and symbolizing your membership in that alumni family when you have received your degree from the chancellor and your parchment from me as you cross back over the stage, 
one of our alumni will be there to present you with your alumni pin, which I hope that you will cherish. Before I close, I want to uh, make note of two individuals for whom this is their last convocation. After five years of service to the university, our academic vice president, Dr. Judith Woodsworth, is leaving us to assume the presidency of Laurentian University in Sudbury, Ontario. And Judith uh, has always presented the prizes during convocation, as, as well as the special faculty awards. And Judith, on behalf of all of us, I want to thank you for your service to the Mount and wish you well in the challenges that lie ahead. This is also the last convocation for our Chancellor, Dr. Mary Louise Brink, the Congregational Leader of the Sisters of Charity. We were installed together into our respective offices in 1996, and we have worked closely together over the past six years. Mary Louise had a six-year term for her Congregational Leadership, and so this summer, she will hand over the reins of her office with the sisters to her successor, who will then, under our charter, become the chancellor of the university. Mary Louise was telling us that despite the fact she has a distinguished record, academic record herself and holds several degrees, including a doctorate, she never attended any of her own convocations. But she has more than made up for it over the past six years, attending, I believe she said, no fewer than 18 convocations. So Mary Louise, we want to thank you for so graciously presiding as our chancellor over this past six years to wish you well for the sabbatical year that you will be taking in the coming year and to wish you all the best wherever life's path takes you. So graduates, in conclusion, I hope that the love of learning you've developed at the Mount, the skills and abilities that you have honed while you've been here will benefit you, will benefit the society to which you belong, will benefit the communities in which you choose to live and work. Please tell us about the innovative contributions you continue to make. Stay in touch with us about how we are innovating here at the Mount. News of the Mount is as close for you as www.msvu.ca. Please check the website frequently. Respond to questions on the, the alumni homepage within that website. Congratulations to all of you and all the best. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, honorary degree recipients, honored guests, faculty, fellow graduates, family, and friends. Our lives are filled with beginnings and endings. Our experiences come together to form a circle where each ending marks the beginning of new experiences and each beginning marks the ending of experiences past. Today, we come to celebrate both an ending and a beginning. When we entered as students here at Mount St. Vincent University, we embarked down a new and exciting path full of wonderful experiences that both encouraged our intellectual development and fostered our personal growth. As we immersed ourselves in our learning, as we overcame the apprehensions we faced entering this new world, 
as we were challenged by our professors, by ourselves, and by each other, and as we reached our goals and created new ones, we engaged in a process of change and development that opened our minds, gave us new skills and abilities, strengthened our faith in ourselves, and helped us become truly critical and reflective thinkers. As we, the graduates of 2002, take on a new role as Mount alumni, we welcome this opportunity to recognize and express our heartfelt thanks for the support, guidance, and care that we received as students from faculty, staff, administration, family, and friends. Indeed, we have had the opportunity here at the Mount to become part of an extraordinary community. Extraordinary because this is a community where members engage in an exciting and challenging world of learning that is shared in many different ways and on many different levels. Extraordinary because this is a community whose diversity includes people of different ages, backgrounds, cultures, different interests, talents, and experiences, yet we are all bound together by a special energy and a hunger for learning that makes our community both rich and inspiring. As we celebrate today, let us take a moment to reflect and to remember. Remember the first time you entered this auditorium, whether it was for a first class or for our orientation assembly, where we first saw the colorful array of robes and hoods parading down the aisle. Remember the nervous excitement of awaiting feedback on that first paper, the stress of midterms, and the abundance of energy filling the hallways at exam time. Remember the wisdom and support of your family and friends as you face the challenges of university life. Remember the peaceful quiet of the library filled with students hard at work, and the not so quiet group meetings you had in the link, Remember the laughter at Vinnie's? Remember the early morning lineups for Tim Horton's coffee? And then try to remember dealing with early morning classes before we had a Tim Horton's? <laughs> remember the friendly faces that always greeted you? And the close-knit atmosphere that surrounded us here as we were never made to feel nameless, were always provided with guidance and advice, and could always drop by a professor's office, even if it was just to say hello. Remember your special moments and your personal successes. Remember our beautiful campus, the wooded paths, the fragrant flower beds, and the wonderful view of the Bedford Basin from Seton Academic Center. And of course, thinking of our circle of experiences, Remember all of the fun you had trying to navigate your way around and around and around Seton Academic Center. <laughs> Anchored in our memories of this place and prepared by the lessons we have learned here and the knowledge we have gained, we look to the future today with excitement, confidence, and hope. Our ambitions and interests will inevitably lead us to engage in a wide variety of different pursuits and endeavors. Perhaps we will begin our careers. Perhaps we will travel. Or perhaps we will continue on to further studies. Wherever we go with our lives, we start out today secure in the solid foundation built here at Mount St. Vincent University and fully prepared to meet the challenges of a complex and changing world. This convocation ceremony represents for us a connecting point in our circle of experiences. It is our opportunity to both celebrate our accomplishments and embrace our dreams for the future. We will all follow our own paths as we travel from here, all face our own challenges, we will all make our own mistakes, and all achieve our own successes, but we will always be connected by the memories of our experiences here at Mount St. Vincent University, by the friendships we have made, by the joys and the sorrows that we have shared. As we mark our new beginning today, 
My wish for the graduating class of 2002 is that we will never lose our sense of wonder. Rather, that we will nurture it and allow it, in turn, to continue to motivate us to explore, question, and learn from this wonderful world. Madam Vice-Chancellor and President, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the Collegiate Honours of Graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study and I ask that they be awarded the Certificate in Business Administration. Lisa K. O'Brien. Mary M. Potter. Barbara Power. The Certificate in Gerontology. Sharon Leboutlier. Gail Penny. The Certificate in Information Technology. Glenda Groom. The Certificate in Tourism and Hospitality Management. Joni Hurtle. Mary McIntyre. Holly J. Wheaton. The Diploma in Business Administration. Matthew J. Allen. The Diploma in Information Technology and Computer Studies. Shauna K. Crawford. Madam Chancellor, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for the Collegiate Honours of Graduation. I attest that they have successfully completed the required courses of study, and I ask that they be admitted to the baccalaureate degree. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts on Crystal A. Alward. a Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Crystal. Janine Amiro. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Janine. Stephanie Bailey. <clears throat> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Stephanie. Nicole Bernier. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Nicole. Sarah Bisson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Sarah. Stephanie Lynn Blair. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Stephanie. Melissa C. Bossy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Melissa. Holly Ann Marie Brinton. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Holly. Francelyn Boogie with distinction, and Francelyn also is the recipient of the Andrea and Charles R. Bronfman Award in Canadian Studies and the Alliance Francaise Prize. That's good. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Francelyn. Char Charlene T. Nevis Corbin. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Roger C. Crow. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Roger. Patricia Marie Doubleday, with distinction, and uh, Patricia is also the recipient of the Graduating Student Award for Academic Excellence in Sociology and Anthropology. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Hazel W. Duncan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Hazel. Heather Michelle Farrell. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Heather. Sarah Fisher. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Sarah. Cindy Michelle Foley. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Cindy. Mary Kate Foley. Mary Kate, or Katie as we know her, also graduates with distinction and is the recipient of the Walter Shelton Essay Prize. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Mary Kate. Excellent speech. Jennifer M. Foster. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jennifer. Heather Francis. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Heather. Ashley Gerard. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Ashley. Rebecca Harnish. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Rebecca. Mary C. Hassler. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Mary. Ruth C. Hater. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Ruth. Kelly Hutchinson, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Kelly. Bethany E. Jones. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Bethany. Jacqueline Jodry, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Jessica E. King. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jessica. Shelley Lincoln. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Shelley. Gary James Logan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Gary. Edna S. Mabadoko. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Edna. <coughs> Jillian M. McDonald. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jillian. 
Terry Maracle. Terry is also the recipient of the Kathleen Shannon Memorial Award. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Thelma McLeod. Thelma graduates with distinction and highest aggregate and is the recipient of the Sister Elizabeth Belfontaine Religious Studies Scholarship and the, and the Bernice L. Chisholm in Religious Studies Scholarship. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Thelma. Matthew D. Moriarty. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Matthew. Bethany Jane Murphy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Bethany. Nathan Edward Myatt with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Nathan. Stephanie Nymark. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Stephanie. Jenna Deanne Parsons. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jenna. Amy L. Piovison. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Amy. Michelle L. Potter. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Michelle. Timmy G. Power. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Timmy. Carrie Roberts. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Terry. Bonnie Jean Robertson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Bonnie. Kelly Lynn Ross. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Kelly. Anne Ryan. Anne also receives the certificate in gerontology today and is the recipient of the Catholic Women's League Book Prize. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, good luck. Elizabeth Sensaba with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Sophia Smith. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Sophia. Richard D. Smith. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Richard. Jillian Augusta Spencer with distinction. And Jillian is also the recipient of the Sister Marie Agnes Prize in English. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Jillian. Stephanie Spicer. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Stephanie. Amy L. Stewart. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Amy. Elaine Surratt. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Elaine. Marcel Thibault. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Monsieur. Marcel. Vern Toitier with distinction, and Vern also receives a certificate in gerontology today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Vern. <laughs> Lindsay Wadden with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Lindsay. Crystal Jeanette Whalen. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations, Crystal. Barbara Ann Wilson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations.
Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major on Alicia M. Baldwin. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Elizabeth Gerstenberger. Elizabeth is also the recipient of the Sister Elizabeth Belfontaine Religious Studies Scholarship and the Bernie's L. Chisholm in Religious Studies. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Linda Margaret Curley with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Linda. Monica J. Carr. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Monica. Kimberly McDonald. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Kimberly. Scott D. Miller with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Scott. Amanda L. Patterson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Amanda. Wendy E. Piercy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Wendy. Callie Quinlan, who, is, who also receives a certificate in Community Residential Services. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Danielle Monique Ryan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations. Robin Elizabeth Snow with distinction and highest aggregate. Robin is also the recipient of the Sister Frances de Sisi Prize in History. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Robin. Jacqueline N. Watson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Advanced Major. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors on Laura Dunphy. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Daniel Kevin Murphy. And Daniel and, I were, Daniel and I were just discussing that he is the first male student in Atlantic Canada to graduate with a degree in women's studies. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Congratulations, Daniel. Tara L. Romke. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Congratulations, Tara. Maureen A. Wenzel. And Maureen is the recipient of the Frog Hollow Book Prize. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Congratulations, Maureen. <laughs> Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Honor Certificate in Arts on Erica Coulter. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Honor Certificate in Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please. <laughs>
Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study on. Tanya Jean Anthony. <coughs> on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Tanya. Shannon Baldasso. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Shannon. Erin L. Bennett. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Erin. Sarah L. Brown. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Sarah. Tamara L. Carter. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Tamara. Stephanie Corbet. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Stephanie. Tanya R. Crawford. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Tanya. Lindsay A. Devine. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Lindsay. Jacqueline E. Dibbon. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Joanne P. Dill, with distinction. Miss <laughs> 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 <It's> Bermuda. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. I should also say that Joanne graduates with distinction in the highest aggregate. <laughs> Jennifer L. Gallant. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Jennifer. Lisa M. Harrietta. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Lisa. Amy K. Hiltz. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Holly J. Kennedy. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Heidi. Krista Legere. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Krista. Vicki M. Latourno. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Vicki. Cheryl Lloyd. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Caitlin McDonald. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Caitlin. Stephanie McDougall with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Stephanie. Sarah L. McIntosh. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Sarah. Mary Stephanie McKinnon. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Mary. Michelle E. McLeod. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. France McClure, with distinction. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, friends. Charlotte A. Murray. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Krista L. McCarris. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Krista. Kimberly McDonald. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Kimberly. Stacy McKinnon. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Stacey. Dawn Marie McClellan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Dawn. Marit J. Montgomery. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Janet P. Parsons. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Janet. Kelly A. Peddle. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Glenda Perry, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Tanya S. Pick. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Tanya. Sasha Dawn Pulley. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Sasha. Mary Eileen Sampson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Mary. Angela Sawler. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Angela. Lana Michelle Skeynes. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Lana. Michelle L. Smith. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Michelle. Elizabeth Spencer. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations. Tricia Stewart, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Patricia. Kelly M. Vanden Hoogen. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Kelly. Jill Violandi. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Jill. Leanne Whiting. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Leanne. Amy Elizabeth Wild, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Study. Congratulations, Amy. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology in Family Studies on Nicole L. Varner. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology and Family Studies with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Nicole. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, <clears throat> Family Studies and Gerontology, honors in gerontology with first class honors to Christine S. 
Kennedy. On behalf of the Senate at Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology, and Honors in Gerontology, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Mount St. Vincent University <clears throat> confers the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology on Richard Cloutier, cooperative, cooperative education route, and Richard was also the recipient of the Mount Co-op Student of the Year Award. On, be on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Richard. Thank you. Virginia Alwyn, Cooperative Education Route with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Arts Information Technology. Congratulations. Elaine A. Beck, Practica Route with Distinction and Highest Aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology. Congratulations, Elaine. Shanna M. Randall. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Arts Information Technology. Congratulations, Shanna. <coughs> Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration on Alanda Banks. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Alain. Soa L. Borno. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Shana Butterfield. <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Sean. Michelle L. Kant. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Michelle. Tara D. Crosby. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Tara. Brenda E. Durkee. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Brenda. Renee R. Elliott. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Renee. Jason W. Ernst. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Jason. Krista Lynn Foley. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Krista. Tanya L. Forsyth. Hi. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Jacqueline Joanne Gillis. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Jennifer Marie Hamilton. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Congratulations. Justin Peter Harrington. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Derek Harvey with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Derek. Susan Hume McFarlane. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Susan. Krista Keogh. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Tina Knox. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Tina Regina. Joanne Mary Linehan, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Joanne. Alana M. Lively. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Alana. Matthew A. McAdam, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction and Highest Aggregate. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Matthew. Susan L. McKenzie, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Susan. Terry McPhail. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Terry. Emily McPherson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Emily. Jeffrey M. McKinnon. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Betsy J. Mead. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Betsy. Michelle Mauser who also receives the Certificate in Tourism and Hospitality Management. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Michelle. Tara Murray. Tara Murray. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Tara. Fran Patterson, with distinction, and Fran also receives today a certificate in marketing. She's also the recipient of a merit scholarship and the John Dewey Squires Memorial Scholarship. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Megan Powell, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Megan. Christina Power. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Christina. Janice Richardson. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Janice. Glenda N. Roberts. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Glenda. Matthew Streit. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Matthew. Naomi Sullivan. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations. Jennifer Taylor. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Jennifer. Travis Vaughan with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Travis. Sean D. Wadden. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Sean. Amanda L. Zinc with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, Amanda. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration in association with Bermuda College on Cornell Johnson. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration in association with Bermuda College with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. 
Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology on Angela Renee Bean. <laughs> on behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Human Ecology with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Angela. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations on Amber Ball. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Andrew L. Bartkus, with distinction. Andrew also receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Odette M. Boudreau, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Odette. Debbie Buett, Cooperative Education Option, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Debbie. Jennifer Burridge. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Jennifer. Nicole Champness, who also receives a certificate in marketing. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Tiffany A. Chase who also receives a certificate in marketing. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Tiffany. Ardith Correa, who also receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Ardith. Jill Fleming. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Jill. Tara M. Furlong. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Tara. Penny Giles, who also receives a certificate in marketing. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Kimberly J. Haskett, with distinction, and Kimberly also receives a certificate in business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Kimberly. Laura Hepditch, Cooperative Education Option. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Laura. Shelley Higgins. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Shelley. Nadia Hines, with distinction. And <laughs> I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Nadia. Nadia is also the recipient. <laughs> Nadia is also the recipient of the International Association of Business Communicators Atlantic Anniversary Award. <laughs> you. Mark Laventure. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Mark. Sorry, I missed that Mark also graduates with the Cooperative Education Option. Danielle Lee, with distinction, who also receives a certificate in marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Danielle. Suzanne McCormack, Cooperative Education Option, with distinction. I confer... S Suzanne also receives a certificate in marketing today and was the recipient of the Mount Co-op Student of the Year. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Margaret Ann McInnes, with distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Margaret. Heather Catherine Marie McLean. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Heather. Diane Martin, Cooperative Education Option. 
I can further the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Diane. Jennifer McCormack, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction. I can further the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Jennifer. Shannon M. McPhee with Distinction and the Highest Aggregate. I can further the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Shannon. Rhonda Moore. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. John A. Moore, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, John. Emily M. O'Connor. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Emily. Isabel Poitras, Cooperative Education Option with Distinction. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations. Holly Marguerite Weiss. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Public Relations. Congratulations, Holly. Mount St. Vincent University confers the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management on Joanne C. Alexander, Cooperative Education Route, and Joanne also receives a Certificate in Marketing and a Certificate in Business today. On behalf of the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of, Hos of Tourism and Hospitality Management with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Joanne. Terence Gregory Gulliver Collins, Cooperative Education Route, and who also receives a Certificate in Business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Terence. Terry M. Croft, Cooperative Education Route. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Terry. Alana G. Cross, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives a Certificate in Business. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Alana. Peter G. Johnson, Cooperative Education Route, and who also receives a Certificate in Business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Peter. Rayan S. Mailman, Cooperative Education Route with Distinction, who also receives the Certificate in Business today and the Certificate in Marketing. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Rayanne. Marcy D. Nickerson, Practica Route. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Marcy. Josh Nodding, Practica Route, who also receives the Certificate in Business today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Josh. Sherrilee Ann Shaw, Cooperative Education Route, who also receives the Certificate in Business and the Certificate in Marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Shirley. Jeremy Francis Raymond Welsh, Practica Route, who also receives the Certificate in Business and the Certificate in Marketing today. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Congratulations, Jeremy. Madam Chancellor, in addition, we confer the appropriate degrees on all those presented to the University Senate. I confer degrees in absentia on those persons so designated by the Dean.
the Senate Awards of Distinction. These engraved pewter awards presented by the Senate of Mount St. Vincent University are given in recognition of superior, superior academic achievement to each student who graduates with distinction and with highest aggregate in undergraduate degree and degree programs. The master's awards are presented upon recommendation of each department. This year's recipients are Thelma McLeod, McLeod Bachelor of Arts. Robin Elizabeth Snow, Bachelor of Arts, Advanced Major. <laughs> Joanne Patrice Dill, Bachelor <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Arts, Child and Youth Studies. <laughs> Christine Sarah Kennedy. Bachelor of Applied Arts, Family Studies and Gerontology Honors. <laughs> Elaine Alice Beck, Bachelor of Applied Arts, Information Technology Practica. Matthew Alexander McAdam, Bachelor of Business Administration Co-op. Shannon Maureen McPhee, Bachelor of Public Relations. <laughs> Rayanne S. Mailman, Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management Co-op. Senate award also goes to Jeffrey A. Parsons for the Diploma in Business Administration who could not be with us today. The Valedictorian Prize. This provides all valedictorians with a lasting memento of their achievements and contributions to the graduating class. To be chosen valedictorian, the student must have maintained a strong academic record, must have been actively involved in a number of extracurricular activities, either on campus or in the community, must have been nominated as a fitting spokesperson for the graduating class by their peers and their faculty, and must have submitted samples of their writing for review. I am pleased to award the valedictorian prize to Mary Kate Foley.
Katie Foley is an outstanding student, a history major and a French minor. Katie has also studied English, chemistry, biology, political studies, and drama for her Bachelor of Arts degree. Her professors testify to the high quality of her work. Katie writes extremely well, thinks imaginatively about the questions she takes up in her reading and writing, and participates actively and articulately in her classes. Her keen interest and intelligent engagement with issues challenge her fellow students and her professors and help to set the tone of the class discussion. Her professors and fellow students describe her as bright, friendly, and outgoing. Katie plans to pursue her studies in education, and we wish her every success. Congratulations, Katie. <laughs> the Kappa Gamma Pi Award. Membership in Kappa Gamma Pi, Honor Society of Catholic Universities for Women, is awarded to graduates who, in addition to high scholastic standing and a good record in extracurricular activities, give promise to academic leadership in the future. The undergraduate award goes to Robin Snow, advanced major. Robin is graduating today with a BA advanced major in history with an exceptional academic record. She is the recipient this year of the Sister Frances de Sisi Prize in History, which is awarded annually by the Alumni Association to the student who is, in the judgment of the history department, the most outstanding history student of her graduating class. Robin has been a very active member in the History Society serving as vice president this past year. She initiated the mentoring program the society has offered to history students in the past two years. Many students have appreciated the generosity with which she has responded to their requests for assistance. Robin has earned the respect of both her fellow students and her professors by the high quality of her work, by her honesty and straightforwardness, and by the consideration she accords others. We know that she will continue to excel and contribute to whatever she does. Congratulations, Robin. <laughs> the Governor General's Medals, the Undergraduate Medal. A silver, a silver medal donated by Her Excellency, the Governor General of Canada, is given to an undergraduate for the highest aggregate in the final three years of a degree program. The award goes to Matthew McAdam, BBA. <laughs> Matthew graduates today with a Bachelor of Business Administration. Faculty describe him as a dedicated and very intelligent student who not only excels in the classroom, but also has distinguished himself in his co-op work term placements. Matthew completed one work term in Chibucto Links where he learned how offices and not-for-profit organizations work. His next two work terms were with Peter Wilde Chartered Accountants, where he was able to apply the theory he learned in his accounting courses. His employers rated him as excellent noting that he was very professional, had a positive attitude, and an exceptional work ethic. At the end of his third work term, his employers noted that Matthew had surpassed all expectation of any cooperative education student ever employed with them. Matthew did not confine his university activities to academics in his final year of studies. Matthew was the treasurer of the Business and Tourism Society. Matthew is employed with Grant Thornton and is working towards his Chartered Accountancy designation. With his de de dedication to his studies and his respect for learning from others, we are sure that he will excel. Congratulations, Matthew. <laughs> the President's Prizes. These special awards donated by the university president are awarded to the members of the graduating class whose energy, generosity, and commitment 
have enriched the university during their time as students and who show promise that their commitment will continue as alumni. This year's award goes to Tim Power, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Tim Power is an English major who came to us as a transfer student from another university and almost immediately made his presence felt on campus. He exemplifies the energy, generosity, and commitment that enriched this university. For two years, he has served as a very active student representative on the Writing Initiatives Committee. He served as arts representative to the Students' Council in his first year here, and is